Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Super Show Monster Story 2 Electric Boogaloo on the Mysterious. I can't say it, I can't use that anymore. Racists have wrecked it, but on the Mysterious JG. I'm Zerfall, and they didn't wreck it everywhere in the world. Well, okay. I hope you foreigners who are huge fans of Break Into Electric Boogaloo can continue to enjoy it. So we're gonna. We're going to be searching for answers to the pressing question of, did this village ever have non-old people in it? I guess it had the people who are currently old in it before they were old. The question is more like, <laughs> were there young people in it? Really? I guess we don't know that. Maybe these are just all the old people from the port village. They sent them here. A golden Received lizard. A golden lizard. That, I think that's one of the king's treasures, isn't it? That could I think be. that's what gets that music. It's a key item, that's for sure. It's the key to our success and happiness. Uh, golden lizard, grilled, gilded lizard, stores pig people. Turns regular pork into long, long pork. <laughs> into golden pork. Although I'm flat broke, I won't charge you for resting a while. Make yourselves at home. Well, congratulations, lady. This is the end we come to for the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. You can teleport here from afar. I didn't even get a chance to say no. Yeah, we don't want to rest. Too bad. Get into bed, kids. <laughs> yeah. Because well, I thought it might be like that inn from uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, man. I was so pissed the first time I stayed at that inn where they do a cutscene of a guy stealing money from you while you're asleep. <laughs> and I was, I was furious because I hadn't saved for a while. In Final Fantasy 3 for the SNES or 6 for the Super Famicom or whatever. Um, and then I and then I went and actually checked, and I was like, "Oh, he stole like almost exactly as much money as it would have cost to stay at a regular old inn." Yeah, but it was more exciting. I guess so. I thought we had a secret of man boss vibes coming. Dud. That's Bowser Dragon Bird, is the only one left alive, Daddy. Oh, just like me, he's the last of his race. Assuming Megalo King is some kind of other race for me. Hey, Carlos, I don't grow big quickly. Then you'll be more delicious for us to eat. Oh, Dragon Bird. I, I just realized I'm everyone in the party right now. Hey, Bill oh, Party. Oh, Dragover, this is where you should be able to live safely. You can be this particular old guy. Because I can't tell which old guy he was. He's got dark hair on the back of his head. I just thought that I heard the call of Dragobird, and lo and behold, it re it's really Dragobird. I can't help it if I'm a little drunk. I can't believe the Drago bird still survives. It's got to be a miracle. He was born in Lampa. According to tradition, you should allow this Drago bird to grow to adulthood. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Do not hold the B button to cancel his evolution. I was about to say, I'm glad there's a tradition about, you know, not, not allowing animals to live. <laughs> I can only really think of one alternative to allowing it to grow to adulthood. But in order to make that transition, you'll need all six aura stones. And don't press B to cancel his evolution. Oh, and you also need to use this spell book, or Drago Bird won't even grow won't grow even an inch more. That's what she said. This is a really complicated species. We have five or stones already, baby. Zerf miscounted in the last video and he said we have four. I had no... Like, I was shocked that you knew that and then it turns out you were wrong, so... I was thinking about how many bosses we killed, but I guess one of them we killed twice. Un nice unfortunately, the demon that calls itself Kaiser Blue stole our or stone. <clears throat> Some folks call Kaiser Blue, I call him Sling Blue. Mm -hmm. But if you can snatch it back, 
and use it with your other ore stones, you'll be in business. The business of find also the, the, the spellbook. Let's say the business of also needing a spellbook. Just have them in your pack when you use the spellbook, and good things will happen. You'll grow several inches. If you have any issues, feel free to drop by my location for consultation. You'll know which old man I am because I'm the one that talks about this. Bye. See ya. All right. Well, I'm assuming we had to see all this before uh, whatever plot event has us fighting Blue Kaiser happens. Yeah. And then we get a 20 minute conversation with him. You don't suppose they would hide a uh, stamp in one of these rocks? There's a stamp around here somewhere. Oh, is there? Okay. Trying to track it down here. Man, every other one they show it. I gotta go to the actual stamp card place. Yeah, see, he doesn't have different uh, sprite art facing different directions. Either that or he does, and they just didn't feel like showing it off right now. It's in a rock. <laughs> in a generic. Uh, it's not in this in this building. It's not in this building. Well, this this room cave structure. Thunder Saver. It was bad enough when Noah murdered the last of the Drago birds. Then that curse out of hell called Kaiser Blue invaded two days ago and stole our ore stone. Bird. No ore stone to be found. Haley May wants to marry a name of Frogman. Is it in this cave? The stamp, I mean. It's oh. No, it's it's by itself. It's like there's there's a screen where it's the only stone on the screen. Go. Oh. Okay. No, it might be that top one there. Okay. You have to face to the right to see, to get it too. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, I found a stamp on a screen with lots of other rocks. Well. From the screenshot they have, it's hard to see other things. Yeah. The stamp, see uh, the stamp covers it up where it says you collected the stamp. Mm hmm. I see. Anyway, 16 stamps. Boy. Oh, there's, there's the, the Ernie. Ernie. Urn. Ernie Urn. It's an Ernie or Urn. What happens? I don't think we've seen one of those urns without Ernie. Probably says, hmm, this urn seems suspicious. This urn seems like the type that has the type of creatures that Ernie enjoys. Hey, well, something seems mighty interesting about this urn. Hmm, what could it be? What could if it be? If you shine a certain light to it, it looks like two sexy ladies. Poop. <laughs> Don't believe that. I should have given you this on the mountain, but I got so excited I forgot. So excited for Draco Bird. Maybe he pulls down his pants. <laughs> I should have given you this on the mountain. Ooh, As I said before, once you've gathered all the ore stones, use the spell book. All Dragon is uh, he's doing some stream prep, I think. He must he must think he has the inside track on what games are going to get played. I should probably not be talking about this right now. That way the majestic figure of Draco Bird will carry your group into the high skies. Such a majestic high into the figure. Skies. You'll find your way to the floating continent and learn Sheldorado's mysteries. Including the mystery of the desert. Once you get him fully grown, if you were to stand above him and talk to him so his back faced camera, you will see his incredible shoulders. White buff. Muster the courage to learn those legends and then put the new knowledge to good use. Use your power to defeat the evil that summons the mist and threatens to end our world. I forgot there was mist everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Others before you have saved Shell Dorado and people have passed down their stories. Except for you, Poyan. Uh, you're one of those people. I wish I'd go on this adventure with you. I'll help you any way I can. Well, also, here's the thing I said I was going to give you like 18 dialogue <laughs> things ago. Well, I, I, is this really the same planet? Because uh, it seems to me like we can circumnavigate the planet the last game was set on, and yet now we're saying it's a different continent. You received this spell. See, that's where Lufia 2 really lost me. It was completely realistic up until the point where it claimed that, oh, this comet or whatever that was part of the next game has crashed on the very far away continent of Blah Blah. And I'm like, no, bullshit, you can circumnavigate the globe. You can't just tell us <laughs> there's another continent worth of map. Dragon Warrior was able to blow up its map because you couldn't circumnavigate, which means they could just pretend things went on in any direction. Go fo 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 fo! That stone entered my hand almost effortlessly. Those dead generals must have been nothing but a mob of trash talking weaklings. Japanese job! Go! Uh, uh, when will I face a challenge? Uh, 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 why are we talking about Poyan? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, here comes Doan to here muck things up. Good point. I'll just go ahead and deliver it straight to the road. Hand it over. The hell you say? Really? <laughs> it's he's green. It's confusing me. The hell you say? Uh, no, he's Kaiser Blue, not Kaiser Green. Ah, it's a translation issue with the Jade Dragon. Hey, I'm. <clears throat> Hey, see, that really didn't sound like my Alan Rickman voice. Hey, I'm the one who destroyed Feiss and the Draco birds along with it. All you did was waltz in there. Hey, waltz, see? German. Bend down and scoop it up. That order stone is mine. You hardly scratch the village stone. Go foo foo foo. And you zapped a handful of aging Draco birds that offered feeble resistance at best. Then, cowards that you are, you fled from that aggressive vixen guarding the order stone. I didn't know it's a good aggressive vixen. So take your claim and shove it. I don't work for you no more. And don't let the door slam on your butt on the way out. Don't let the door hit you where the Dark Lord split you. Oh, I insist that you give me that order stone. I did attack first feist, you know. I see it's a joke. I mean, vice first. Damn, you're making me madder than hell. Ki ye 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 ye. Ye ye. Go ho ho ho, your glory hound. I'm just following Lord Dark's orders. I was just following orders. I was in Austria doing the war. Are you defying our master's instructions? If not, get the hell out of my face. If you are. Stay in my face and get the hell into my face. Get out of my dreams and into my face. Ooh, no, no, no. I won't forget this humiliation. I'll get even many times over. Yep, I'll. I'll hover over your grave and urinate all over it. How will you like that? Well, I, I am care, German. I'm, dead. I'm German. I'm into some bad stuff. Go foo 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 foo. That's Vimp would be a funny if he wasn't such a pain. Now it's time to sail out the boat and stick a harpoon in the hides of those heroes. Oh god! I don't, why doesn't anyone ever just bring the Orstone to Dark and be like, "Hey, here's the Orstone. I'm gonna go kill those guys now." I mean, you know, it's a good question. I feel like they could actually be doing a lot better if they uh, were thinking in such sage terms. Let's see how much time we got left in the video. I think we are good. To take a crack at uh, this new foe, or uh, urn, which may not even have a boss fight in it. The last one did not. I, I feel like we're due a boss fight before we get our next summon, but... Yeah. Probably...
you know, he does. he's not a good replacement for Rumi because he only does offensive magic. Take Bolt, or, nah, Point. I accidentally selected Point on, so we'll take, we'll take up one. If we run into a hippo, I'll never forgive myself. Which one is it again here? It is the one called Icarus. Oh, that's the next can, boss? Can we learn anything from Icarus? Oh yeah, that's a good point. And you know what? We haven't, we didn't even think about bringing a thief. Can we steal anything from Icarus? Well, you let me know. I'm looking it up. Oh look, we found an herb that fits the description perfectly. I wonder, could a sun monster be looking inside? It's always fun to investigate. Come about, let's check inside and see if we might find something useful for our quest. Be careful though, one never knows when he might fall into a deadly trap. Yes, the seal appears to be the type that contains the sort of creatures I love. A little bravery on our part. Should we be recruited to pierce the monster for a servant? Um, we could steal a thunder saber, which we just got one of. I feel like it's not too important, uh, and there's no skill to be learned. Who has awakened me from my eternal sleep? Well, now that I'm free, you may call on me. Ho, ho! If <laughs> if going gets rough and you need my strength to win, I'm available. But first, it's Kid Icarus, folks. So, you know, summon the eggplant wizard to help us. Oh, he's got the mega evolution. What is he doing in the front row? That's not where I put him. He's the one that opened the urn. We go through this every time. Uh... It's just in hell in the battle sword. <laughs> Sucks, dude. Up. Uh. What well, do you think you thunder guys weak against water maybe? Earth? Uh, I would say poison or bacteria. We don't have either of those. Uh, available for him because he sucks. What about... Big bolts. No, I'm not using these. We need them for buildings. I think he's just going to be healing people with items. Let's try... Uh... Earth. He does have wings. Yeah, things with wings hate the Earth, as we all know. <laughs> That's they're just trying to get away from the Earth. Hey, there you go. Huh? Bapo week. No strength though. I don't know if steal it. I'd say use fire attacks on him. Oh, Fiborg is water. I keep thinking it would be fire, and it isn't. I thought we had another stronger head. Yeah, I got Flare Demon. Medium damage instead. Bapo. I don't think he's got access to, uh... Hospice for All. It's like <laughs> Bernie Sanders got <laughs> He just wants everyone to slowly await death and stop receiving treatment for their illnesses. <laughs> Magic damage one. Wind one half hit point all? I mean, if it works, great. Nah, it's not gonna Plus, work. then we'll know exactly what half his points are. 
And she also has Hospice for All. Who's down? Well, if we fail here, we can come back with a different party and include the thief if we wanted to anyway. Yeah, but that would be an even less effective party because they would spend the entire battle just dealing. Yeah. He did take some damage from Flare Demon, didn't he? Yep. It was in the, the less than 100, but it was... Oh. But I mean, how much will Ernie do if he just attacks? Ernie... Yeah, I mean, Ernie could be... He might actually do more than the other magic things. I was going to make him make her start casting Hospice All, but maybe we can actually have her try to do something other than that if Ernie just keeps healing. Not that I think people have been getting hurt too badly by this wing storm. No, I mean, it adds up after a while, but... I feel like we probably just have them have him attack, and then when... Yeah, he's already getting weak. And then if people get lower than 500, then that's when you cast... Uh, yeah. Heal stuff. She'll heal herself. I mean, if she's gonna heal herself, you might as well have Ernie attack. And she He's healing control. himself. They're topping off because they get knocked down into triple digits very quickly. I know, I'm just saying though that like she could heal both of them and then he could attack. But he does like nothing. Has he attacked yet? We don't know that. Maybe he has a thing that goes on. I'll have an attack on the next turn. <laughs> so <laughs> it's critiquing this fight where it's like uh, I like my vague thought is like ah if somebody else could use a thunder saber too uh, I'll be wishing we had one of them. Pardon me. Mm. Such heroes as you appear to have achieved many stunning victories already. Beat me even with inefficient use of healing turns. You must be incredible, warriors. Regardless, call upon me, Icarus. If you need help, I'll join your battles. But only if Ernie's in your party and he's the one that calls me. And I won't really be that good because none of these spells are actually that good. We discovered a monster inside the arm. Well, that happened a while ago, actually, man, but... Oh boy! Lord knows we struggle at times. One never knows what will hit us next. All in all, we still better to have some fun amid the chaos. I hope we find another. Another chaos. <laughs> okay, well. I guess we'll get her to Bernie again. <laughs> get Poyon back for, uh, you know, take advantage of any hippopotamuses we might run into. Hippopotamus. Hippopotami? Hippopotami you. Hippopotami, hippopotami you. Here, hippopot family. So I'm wondering if this little teleport thing... Oh, no, it appeared outside of this because it's considered a town. Oh, we should have rested in the inn before I took uh, Ernie out, but whatever. It'll be okay. I wonder if they get their uh, hit points back when they come back in the party or not. I wonder. Or if they get their... Yeah, because you, you'd think they'd just be hanging out resting here. It doesn't show their uh, their hit points or MPs on this screen, just their level. Hmm. Welcome to Booty Big Boat Fairs. Oh, look at the order. They're in the wrong order. Why did this happen? Oh, my God. Ernie, why are you where you were in the party? Even though you're not there anymore.
So I'm wondering if uh, you think plot events will happen when we return to that town by the sea? Mm. I do not. Mm. Oh, yes, I do. The town by the sea? Not yeah. quite, actually. Uh, apparently, we're supposed to head all the way back to Port Sheba. Oh, wow. Siba? Okay. Siba. Siba. Siba is the town by the sea. Yeah, but it's the other town by the sea. They're, bo no, they're both it's... ports. We traveled to Siba. No, we traveled from Siba, didn't we? I don't think you are correct. I am not. I could like, be wrong. My mind will not be blown if you turn out to be right, but I thought Siba. No, no, you're was right. Where we went. We, to. we traveled from Marinla. Marinla. Happiness, happiness is Marinla. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. The, the head being like the wrong size. It seems pretty normal to me. But it was the dog where you said it was noticeable. So let's try this. Let's try this exciting dog dialogue. Let's have a dog day afternoon. Dog is down near the beginning of town. Well, I wanted to get fully rested so I could. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> yes. It's... And uh, when we get back to Siba, we're like into part three of the FAQ here. Oh, nice. How many parts does it have? It has three parts and a fourth part that you don't get to see because of... Weebo. Or uh, Weebly. Weebly. Okay, its head seems like... Its ears like stretch out beyond the extreme outer limits of its own body. But its shoulders are like, don't look like they get past its head. Its shoulders look pretty muscular, or, or just like kind of spiky. Yeah. Angular, it's got some shoulders going for sure. It's just, he's a jacked Russell. <laughs> Come on, hippopotamus. Come on. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I wonder what level of damage we'd have to do to find out these are secretly robots. Do we already know Flatulence? I recognize this monster, but it might be from the last game. Well, I mean, I can't speak for you. I know Flatulence. Alright, let's see. Fire Breath. It'd be a real stretch to call that Flatulence. Yeah, I don't think we know Flatulence. I don't think Poyon knows Flatulence. I mean, he... I think he knows it, he just doesn't know how to use it as an attack. Oh, I see. I recognize this monster because earlier there's a different type of hippo that teaches fire breath. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, totally. There's like two versions of the hippo. One that teaches fire breath, and it's in Jodan's circus tent. Oh, oh we got some kind of ghost uh, status ailment now. I don't know what that means. This guy's like a Barabbas. He's got. Bar I love the fact that when he's injured, his uh, skull on his shield looks panicked. Like, ah! <laughs> We're doomed! <laughs> We're doomed! His, his shield is a cartoony uh, sidekick that he has to go with him. To help keep the Zane in his 80s <laughs> action-adventure cartoon. Is this hey, it? there, there we go. go. All right. So I wonder what the correct tactic is here. Tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to show throw on a save. I believe and we realized that A, you don't learn it to the end of battle, and B, they don't have to specifically use it on... Well, let's just uh, beat them up as fast as we can and see what happens. Because my thought is it's time to call it a video anyway. Let's just kick these guys out. Oh wow, we oh, spit out a little chest piece there. See if it just happens to learn flatulence. I can't think that you would learn it if they didn't even use it. 
No, I think they have to use it, but you don't necessarily need to get hit by it. Well, so maybe the key to ultimate victory would be for me to just... Uh, hold on, no. Okay, let's at least see flatulence used once. And if we don't learn it, I'm just going to hold on okay. to a save slot where I can just grind off screen for flatulence. Hey, look at that. Yeah, aren't, we, aren't you glad we got to see that on screen? Thank you. I like uh, Bolts' defense there. He's like, eh. Yeah. Well, it certainly dropped a gas bomb. All right, so I will just uh, fight this thing off screen until we learn flatulence, then I will throw it down safe. And uh, when we come back next time, uh, unless I completely forget what I just promised I would do, we will have flatulence. <laughs> so that's something to look forward to. What we won't know is, is there going to be exciting plot as soon as we enter Siva? And I guess we do know, because we just argued off screen about <laughs> which city is which. <laughs> and we will have exciting plot. So tune in for that, guys. Bye.